sound really simplicio. I'm a consultant ophthalmologist. I'm sp um, specialized in vitreoretinal surgery. I also do cataract surgery and refractive surgery. I, I think in a sense we can say that we've made history today in this place because we have been the very first hospital in the world to achieve this and to perform a carbon neutral cataract surgery. The first one, but then there will be many thousands after mine. My name is Nora Blackett and I've been here today because I've um, had um, a cataract operation on my right eye. I'm proud to be, be the first. When I got the phone call, um, I, I was thrilled to, uh, to have been chosen and I, and I feel really proud to, to have been the first one to have this procedure. Well, the procedure, um, I understand, is carbon neutral. You know, I do take an interest and in, uh, um, obviously I saw the reports from COP26, you know, and, and I am concerned, you know, about, about the environment and how things are, are changing and everybody needs to, to make an effort. If you think about a surgery, you think about the patient being on the table with a surgeon operating, etc., etc. This is probably 1% of what happens. We have to figure out how the patient gets to the hospital, uh, how every single instrument that we do use get to the hospital, how they are produced, where they are produced, how far they travel for, for, from where they are produced and getting to the hospital. There are all the consumables. Are they reusable? Are they not? Uh, it's been a 18 plus months uh, piece of work with uh, lots of parties involved where we have uh, gone to the nitty gritty of everything that we do, of everything that we have, of uh, how much everything weights, believe it or not, and uh, um, to try to figure out our uh, carbon footprint uh, for a single case and then of course multiply for as many thousands cases as we do every year. And uh, the, the biggest piece, piece of work probably will be in the coming years or so or so when we will try to reduce uh, by a certain percentage every year what we produce. So there is a limit where this can't be reduced anymore because we have put in place all the um, measures that could be done and at that stage all the rest what remains will be offset. Biggest part of all is the uh, procurement, is the one where we can really have an impact on because of course the energy of the building is difficult to change. There are hundreds of pieces coming into the hospital. So it's trying to figure out how this happens at the moment. And more importantly, moving forward, is trying to figure out how to rationalize this. The, the partnership with uh, Alcon is, is very important because, first of all, it, it, it is thanks to them that we are at this point where we are today. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for, for, this, uh, for this partnership. I think it's very important for the hospital because um, due to the, these uh, environmental targets that they have to meet, this is a huge uh, uh, project and a big, a, a very big uh, piece of work which is done on their behalf. And uh, I think that we are really doing something special here. Uh, we are doing something special for the trust, we are doing something special for the community. We'll be able to do it in a way that patients are really aware of what they are um, uh, participating into and this huge uh, um, importance now, rightly so, which is given to the environment and protection, uh, carbon neutrality. And I think many, many patients will be very pleased to know that they have played a little role in saving the world, if so we can say.